One of the really cool things that New Balance has been able to do in the last few years is introduce new models to their lineup. And that could be by combining two older sneakers and making it into one like the 2002R or 1906R or taking a completely different direction and creating a totally new shoe obviously inspired by older New Balance sneakers and blending everything up and creating something new. And they've been very successful at doing that by launching the initial shoe with the collaboration to give the shoe that recognition and hype. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the New Balance 9060 in collaboration with Bricks and Wood. So let me show you guys a first look. So I was able to pick up this pair on January 20th, 2023 for a retail price of $180. That was the official New Balance USA release, but there's gonna be a global release on January 30, 2023. If you are a fan of New Balance or you've been following New Balance recently, you probably know that this is not the first collaboration on this model. The first one was obviously the one with Joe Fresh Goods. The 9060 is a totally new model and is inspired by other New Balance sneakers. I actually did a full review on my first 9060. I'll leave a link here so you guys can check that out where I go into more details about the 9060. So Bricks and Wood is a local retailer from South Central LA, and this is their second time working with New Balance. The first sneaker they worked on was a 5740. In this collaboration, Bricks and Wood was inspired by traveling, which is a very important thing in your life, guys. Even if you travel an hour, two hours away, just to get out of that bubble and be able to learn about other people, other cultures, because not only are you gonna learn about them, but you're also gonna learn about yourself, and that's very important just to be able to grow mentally, and just learn about other things. So in this collaboration, that was their main inspiration. So getting into the details of the shoe, starting with the colorway. On the inside part of the shoe, the insoles here have like this sort of grass kind of color here or like nature type color. And I have a feeling they were inspired by a Monet painting. These actually first had a pop-up release in Paris. So I don't know, maybe they were inspired by a Monet painting and that's why you see that type of sort of coloring there. You will find some uh, bricks and woods in collaboration with New Balance branding on the right shoe. And then on the left shoe, you're gonna find a logo, which I believe is a roof of a house. I'm not 100% sure I tried looking that up and I couldn't find anything. If you guys know exactly what that is, definitely let me know. On the sock lining on the shoe, you mostly have this mesh material, but then on the heel part of the inside, you have this really soft material, which is a cool detail. And the color there is in a light blue color. In terms of the overall colorway on the upper part of the shoe, you will find this off-white or beige color throughout the upper layers of the shoe in that hairy suede. And then on the underlays, you will find a gray mesh, which has a combination of a wide mesh and also a regular mesh underneath one of my favorite features of the upper part of this shoe is the mesh because it's actually 3m which actually caught me by surprise i didn't realize it was 3m until i took a photo of them that is a very cool detail there for sure getting into the small details of the shoe one of the main things you're going to notice right off the bat if you've never seen these before is these fuzzy laces which is very different from any new balance sneaker that i own and it's actually a new trend that i'm starting to see more and more so out of the box these will come with these fuzzy laces but they do come with two additional laces which in my opinion that's probably what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch them to a regular pair of laces I don't know how I feel about these but overall these are okay it's not a big deal on the front of the tongue you will find the New Balance 9060 branding and that is a pod design taken from a New Balance 991 which has a similar pod on the midsole of the shoe on the lateral side of the shoe you're gonna find a bigger New Balance logo from your traditional logo that you'll see on most New Balance sneakers and this one here has a combination of some suede on the upper part of it and then underneath that you also have some reflective material switching over to the medial side unlike other new balance sneakers they usually have the same type of end logo on the 9060 they switched things up and they actually made a cutout of that similar suede to make an end but it also has these dashes embroidered making an end logo as well which is a cool detail because most sneakers on the medial side like nobody really cares for the most part everybody always focuses on the lateral side but here on the medial side they just switch things up which makes it pretty cool all the way to the heel part of the shoe you're gonna find another polarizing feature of the 9060 and it's this very big and thick 
heel stabilizer. I know a lot of people don't really like that. I don't really mind it. To me, it looks fine. The heel stabilizer is sitting on some speckle paint that kind of gives it the illusion that the paint is on the inside part of the heel stabilizer. Above that on the heel counter, unlike any 9060 I've seen before, you will have like these flaps of suede that when you lift them, you will find some writing saying buy bricks and wood in collaboration with New Balance. Switching over to the midsole, which is another polarizing feature of the 9060. You will find three colors here, a light gray, the off-white, and this vibrant green color, which are these pods that are inserted into the midsole. The cushioning system here is absorbed, and you will find some absorbed branding on the medial side of the shoe. Flipping over to the outsole, you have a similar off-white color, also that green color as well. New Balance branding there in the middle. And when you look really close to this outsole, you will find some speckle paint which is a very cool detail. The shoes come in a custom box, which I do appreciate anytime I have a collaboration and they switch up the box because it just makes it feel a little bit more special than having just a regular GR box. Here on the top lid, you will find the 9060 and then you will find these bricks around the 9060. They kind of look like hearts, but they're bricks. So maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know, maybe that's just me thinking way too much here. You will find some roses there on the sides as well. And then throughout the box, you will find some New Balance and bricks and wood branding. And here you have the official tag in SKU. All right guys, so when it comes to sizing, these are a non-made in USA New Balance sneaker. So I normally stick with my regular size 10. And with the 9060, that is my preferred sizing. I went with my regular size 10. So if you mostly own made in USA New Balance sneakers, they you go a half a size down with these go a half a size up even though the shoe looks big and bulky it doesn't actually feel that big in my opinion but if you can always try these on in a store definitely go do that before pulling the trigger on these when it comes to comfort with this 9060 model guys i gotta say this shoe is really comfortable this midsole here it actually feels a little bit softer than most of my made in usa sneakers which is not a knock on the shoe but it does feel very comfy i really do like how the 9060 feels overall. Again, it does look big, but it doesn't really feel that heavy on your feet. Obviously, this is a casual shoe. I wouldn't buy these for performance reasons, but for regular lifestyle, I highly recommend a pair of 9060s. So my final thoughts on this collaboration, this is another pair of shoes that I was not planning on getting, man. I actually forgot about this release. And when I went on the New Balance website, I was hoping that they sold out, so I didn't really have to worry about it. And of course, they were sitting there, my size was there. So I was like, damn. So I was like, what the heck? So I pulled the trigger. I was like, let me see how these look in hand and we'll go from there. Let me tell you guys, once you get these in hand, you will definitely appreciate them a lot more. The details that you see when you get them in hand, it's pretty hard to notice when you see photos and things like that. But getting them in hand, you're gonna notice a lot of really cool details and you will appreciate this collaboration a lot more. The materials, the suede here is actually excellent. It's not a made in USA sneaker, but the suede that they use here is actually pretty good. A little bit on the rougher side, not super buttery smooth or anything like that, but it definitely feels really good quality for sure. In terms of the construction and build guys, I have no complaints whatsoever. Even these fuzzy laces, when you kind of tie them up a little bit, I thought that you're gonna see a little bit of the material sort of flying away, but it doesn't really shed like you kind of think it would, not like some suede that it sheds a lot. I think the New Balance did an amazing job building these. So overall guys, great job here by New Balance and Bricks and Wood, and I'm definitely looking forward to more collaborations with them. So with that being said, let me put these on, show you guys how they look on feet. All right guys, so that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 9060 in collaboration with Bricks and Wood. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this collaboration. And out of all the major collaboration, the Joe Fresh Goods, the Bodega one, and these, which one do you think is the best one so far? And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers, thank you. If this is your first time stopping by, you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe, like, comment below, all that good stuff. I'll leave some links in the description below. Definitely check those out if interested. My Instagram link will also be there, so check out my page as well. And that's it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.